So we all know the general benefits of warming up before a workout. It decreases chances of injury and it also sets you up mentally for what's to come. But for some reason, most people don't prioritize their warm ups and don't even actually include it as part of their workout. In plenty of my other videos, I always preach to warm up before you actually start working out. But what if I told you that properly warming up before a workout can be the difference between a good workout and a great workout? So what exactly is a warm up? A low level activity which is done before stretching and strenuous exercise. The goal of the warm up is to raise your total body temperature to prepare you for the activity that's to come. You should actually see a warm up as a preparation for your cardiovascular system, your respiratory system, your nervous system, and your musculoskeletal system. And the suggested warm up time can really vary depending on your level of fitness from five to 20 to 30 minutes. So why should we warm up? The obvious reason, as I said before, is to prevent injuries. Your muscles shorten and lengthen when you exercise. And without properly warming up, you're more prone to pulling and tearing muscles. So in order for us to become stronger, we need to train past our comfort zones. And to keep up with that hard training, we then need to stretch our muscles. And to be able to remain flexible, we need to actually overstretch, which is why warming up is so important. So how do I actually warm up? So I'm gonna share with you a couple of examples to warm up for certain activities. And then I'm going to share with you a couple of examples of how I like to warm up. If you're going for a brisk walk, your warm up should be a slower paced walk. If you're warming up for a more intense workout like a long distance run, jogging would actually be more appropriate. Workouts that don't include any aerobic activity like yoga or Pilates, the pelvic tilt, the neck roll, or the cat and cow will actually help loosen up the spine and the posture and get you ready for more demanding poses. For weightlifting workouts, range of motion exercises like shoulder shrugs or knee lifts are more appropriate. Other dynamic warm-up workouts that I like to use are like lateral hops, high knees, jogging on the spot, jumping jacks, and even backward running. What a lot of people don't know and what I've recently learned is to avoid static stretching when warming up. The only time that you should be doing static stretching is after your workout when you're cooling down. A great indication to know when your body is ready for stretching or working out is when you have a little bit of buildup of sweat, maybe under your nose, the back of your hand, or even on the top of your forehead. At the end of the day, warming up is slightly different for everyone because everyone's body is different. What I would suggest is creating your own little warm up routine and just putting it into practice every time you work out. The more you put it into practice, the more of a habit that it will become. So if you've learned something new today, why not consider subscribing or hitting the thumbs up button down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in my next one.